afternoon, everybody, from David C. Field at Shippensburg University, where today the Downingtown Whippets tried to defend their AAA soccer state championship against the Foxes of Fox Chapel High School. This is Greg Milligan. And you can see the Downingtown Whippets are being introduced. The starting lineups. Downingtown comes in today with a record of 23 wins, one loss, and one tie. And Fox Chapel comes in with 24 wins and two losses. The game that just ended a few moments ago, Great Valley and Hampton played to a scoreless tie after two 10-minute overtime periods and two five-minute overtime periods. Scoreless for the second consecutive year, Great Valley is a co-state champion with a scoreless tie in the state championship game. And the Downingtown Whippets there being introduced and Fox Chapel will be introduced shortly and we'll be getting underway. Let's take a break and we'll come back with the start of the state championship game. But first, this time out, we'll be right back. Take control of your life now. Donald Bilyeu of Clinical Hypnosis Associates can help you relax, gain control, and become motivated. Hypnosis is an extremely powerful, safe, and predictable way to change your life. Clinical Hypnosis Associates can assist you in areas of anxiety, stress, smoking, weight loss, fears, phobias, and specializing in training for sports competition. It's never too late to take control of your life. Call Clinical Hypnosis Associates now. Good things do happen to people who feel good about themselves. Harrison House of Coachville has been home to hundreds of senior citizens. In response to the problems and special needs of the elderly, Harrison House is proud to announce the opening of a brand new wing. Harrison House can now provide a caring, secure environment for those suffering early symptoms of Alzheimer's disease. It's the first unit of its kind in the area, totally self-contained with a highly skilled staff and special security system that prevents residents who are often confused or forgetful from wandering off. The entire area is bright, cheery, and spacious. Each resident has a private room with bath. All services and meals are provided with special attention paid to dietary problems and other needs common to early Alzheimer's disease. If you have a friend or relative suffering early symptoms of Alzheimer's, Harrison House can help. Rates are less than most folks anticipate, much less than a nursing home. For information, call 384-6310. 384-6310 or visit Harrison House, 300 Strode Avenue in Coatesville's West End. Al and Addie Kelly opened Kelly Sports Limited in Westchester over 17 years ago to provide people interested in athletics with athletic equipment and services in a family atmosphere. And they succeeded. At Kelly's, the customer's needs get priority. Customers are treated with warm courtesy and family service. Nowhere else in southeastern Pennsylvania will you find anyone who has the inventory as readily available as Kelly Sports Limited. Kelly's has more name brands than any other athletic business in the area. There you will find quality equipment for every member of your football, swimming, track, baseball, lacrosse, and hockey team. They also have a large selection of sporting goods for all individual sports. And they now offer custom silk screening and embroidery services available on the premises. That's Kelly Sports at the Route 202 Bypass and Matlack Street in Westchester. Open Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, 10 to 6, Wednesday and Friday, 10 to 9, and Saturday, 9.30 to 5. Well, we're ready to go, folks. The Downingtown Whippets trying to defend their state championship, trying to become the first team ever in PIAA soccer history to have a repeat state championship. No one has ever done that before. The Whippets will be starting out left to right in this first quarter. They play four 20-minute periods. The Foxes of Fox Chapel in their white jerseys and white shorts, Downingtown in their blue and gold. And we're ready to go. Fox Chapel drops it back. Terry Piper. Swings it up, and the Whippets take control. That's Jake Straub. Straub down the sideline and out of bounds. Fox Chapel will get the throw. Poked out of bounds by number 17, Jeff Donnan for the Whippets. Piper throws it back to Brad Wilson. 
who is allegedly the best player on this Fox Chapel team. We will see as the day goes on. Wilson sweeping today. Right outside for Jamie Wagner there. Out of bounds and Fox Chapel again with the throw in. Earlier today, the Patriots of Great Valley and another scoreless tie in the state final. Nothing, nothing. Whippets will have the throw in. Down deep on the left side. Turned around and cleared out of there and Whippets will have to come out. There's a shot. Derek Mooney takes the shot and it'll be a goal kick for the Foxes. Wind could be a factor today. It's blowing left to right, so it's with the Whippets here in this first quarter. And there you see the wind holding that ball up. It's draw up on the header. Settled by number 10, Jason O'Malley. And now up the left side, it's Reed Smith. Smith taking it all the way. Looking, trying to make a move. And the Whippets come out. Some physical play here. These Foxes, a physical team. They don't rely much on team speed, but physical strength. Poked out of bounds there by the Whippets. And it will be Piper on the throw in. Piper gets it into Zimmerman. Zimmerman with an ankle injury coming into the game today. Suffered in a district game against Moon High School. And now the Whippets try to get on the move, and there's a trip. Caprickey is tripped up by Jason O'Malley. And the Whippets will have a restart inside the circle. Good chance here for Downingtown with the wind at their back. And they elect to play it short. That was Donnan on the kick. Gets it back from Mooney and now lifts it down into the zone and it's over the head of Caprickey and out of bounds. It'll be a six for the Foxes. Four 20 minute periods today. And if the game is tied, there'll be two 10-minute overtimes followed by two five-minute sudden death periods. Goal kick out to midfield. Considering the wind conditions, that was an excellent kick there. Dickus gets it out to Caffrey and Caffrey rolls it past the goal mouth. We're in the early goings in a state championship game between Downingtown and Fox Chapel. These two teams met back in 87. Fox Chapel coming out on top in that one. Another nice long kick by Fox Chapel's goaltender. Perdiccas trying to make a move in the midfield. Now he takes it down the side. He's going to try to turn it. Good defense there by... Reed Smith. Smith again, now the ball's in the middle. Jake Straub there. That would be right. Uh, get a handball call on Danny back. So it's Mooney with it now. Looking. And now Fox Chapel will bring it out. Straub and Mooney. Now Mooney tries to poke it away, and he does. And they'll flip it back to the goalkeeper. Scott Sinrich. Sinrich. Now it's Perdiccas. He's going to use the left. The shot gobbled up by Sinrich. Paul Perdiccas. Not quite as hard as he wanted there with the left, but he put it on goal, and that's important. You gotta get the goaltender to touch the ball, and you never know what could happen. Mooney, header out of bounds. So Fox Chapel with the throw. Straub and Caffrey, the two co-captains working together on this one. Caffrey moving into the 18, he might have a left, no? Knocked away. There's a trip. Perdiccas is tripped up. And Downingtown now with a good chance. The ball about 35 yards out or so. 
And this will be a direct. They could score off of this one. Mooney, Straub, and Donnan all standing there with the ball, trying to figure out what they want to do as the front wall lines up for Fox Chapel. It's a three-man wall. Shot well wide of the mark by Donnan. Donnan decided to take the shot. Straub poked it to get it moving. It must have been an indirect. And Donnan takes the shot and the goal kick. It will be Wilson taking the goal kick. Six yard, and it's short. In the corner, fighting for the ball down there, it's Jamie Wagner. And it will be a corner kick. Coming down to take it will be the sweeper back, number 30, Mike Caputo. No, it will be a throw. Caputo, the long throw expert, trying to throw it into the goal mouth, and maybe a whippet can get ahead on it here. It's getting close, and Sinkrich goes up. And there was a foul on the Whippets there. Contact made with the goalkeeper. Roll it back to Wilson. Wilson will take a look. Most of the action thus far in the Whippets offensive third of the field. Now there's a big chance for Fox Chapel and over the goal number six, Chip Zimmerman coming into the game with an ankle injury. And he had a golden chance there for Fox Chapel. Glad you could join us today in the state championship final. Will be Caputo on the six. With the wind, he gets a nice foot into it. Fox Chapel skips it through. It will go all the way back to the keeper, Sinkrich. Burdick is there to make sure the ball is safe. Punt by Sinkrich. Head there by Brian Jasek. He's got a man open on the side, and there it is, out to Reed Smith. Smith looking. Now Mooney comes back with a sliding tackle. We've got a lot of contact back there. And the ball will roll out of bounds right next to our desk here. Mooney for Straub on the short throw. Straub's return touch pass a little short, but now Straub will come out with it. He's got Caffrey down the right side. Good ball. Chance for the Whippets. Still in there. Smith has it now for Fox Chapel. Rolls it out to midfield. For 16, Jason Lennon. And now it's down the right side. In the middle again, it's Lennon. Ball knocked away. And, ooh, good tackle there. Good defense there. Tracy Kennedy in there on the good sliding tackle. And there's a handball, but apparently no call. Very obvious. Handball there, not called. Wagner trying to get control of the ball in the midfield, and now it's Straub. He'll put it down. Straub now has a chance to control and gives it away at midfield. It's number 15, Mike Zott. Now out to Reed Smith. Smith loses his footing, and now he'll keep it in bounds as. Looked like it went out of bounds, and now caffrey has got it. With pressure from behind. And there'll be a tripping violation against Fox Chapel, and so Downingtown will have the chance. And it will be Mooney and Donnan. They'll take a chance here. It will be Donnan. Donnan puts it up. Near the 18, controlled by the Whippets, and a shot goes wide. Sinkrich 
gets it. I believe it was Burdickus on the shot. Wide of the goal mouth. Ball we'll rolled out of bounds. We'll take our first break. There's no score here in this first quarter. We'll be right back after this. For energy efficiency, low maintenance, and a lifetime glass breakage warranty, Floridian replacement windows from BJ Exteriors in Downingtown have no competition. These beautiful Floridian replacement windows defeat rising energy bills, corrosion, and peeling. And if you break the glass, BJ Exteriors will replace it, no matter what the reason. Floridian replacement windows also come with a 10-year warranty on labor, making them the winning windows for every home. BJ Exteriors also specialize in vinyl siding, vinyl trim, roofing, gutters, downspouts, and storm windows. BJ Exteriors offers exterior remodeling you can trust with free estimates. Showroom hours are Monday through Friday from 9 to 5, Saturdays from 9 till noon. Stop into BJ Exteriors, 21 East Lancaster Avenue in Downingtown, or call 269-1119. That's 269-1119 for BJ Exteriors in Downingtown. Chester County Travel, with two convenient locations to serve you, is your full-service travel agency in Chester County. From corporate travel to airline tickets to first-class cruises, Chester County Travel can handle every detail, assuring you smooth sailing. And now, Chester County Travel offers World on Wheels, a mobile video travel library for the busy family. Thousands of videotapes are available for in-home consultations. Just call either Chester County Travel Office for an appointment or more information. Chester County Travel in the Colonial 100 Shopping Center in Exton or 301 East Lincoln Highway in Coatesville. Call 363-2060 or 383-6110 for Chester County Travel. Chester County Collision at 10 Stewart Avenue in Downingtown can handle every facet of collision repair. From minor fender benders to frame straightening, you are assured complete satisfaction when you let Chester County Collision repair your vehicle. And all insurance claims are handled quickly and fairly. For the best in collision repair at a fair price, please consider Chester County Collision, 10 Stewart Avenue in Downingtown. Call 269-3752 for Chester County Collision. We're back. We have no score in this first quarter between Downingtown and Fox Chapel. Donnan controlling the ball in midfield takes a look. He'll swing it. Mooney on the header. Nice header. But nobody there. Kicked out by Brad Wilson. Fox Chapel sweeper. Donnan has it. He'll take a look. He'll put it up ahead for Burdickus and it skips off the head of number 15 for Fox Chapel. Mike Zott back to the keeper, Sinkrich. Whippets controlling and that's number five on the side. Brian Jasek and he is tripped up and so again Downingtown will have a restart. Whippets have had a number of chances on restarts here in the first quarter. And they have not taken advantage of them to this point as that one is again handled easily by the Fox Chapel defense. And now it's Wilson bringing it out the sweeper back. Wilson looking for a seam. He tries to put it through. Mooney lays it back for Cease. Todd Cease, the Whippets. Goaltender, he's a sophomore, 5'8", 150 pounds. Perdiccas coming down the left side, looking, tries to cut it back. Cleared away nicely by Bill Seipel. Now Mooney will step up and intercept the, the crossing pass, and now Cafferkey in the give and go with Mooney. Mooney down the right side, looking to cross. Takes it down and kicked out of bounds. It will be a goal kick. Cafferkey and Mooney with a little give and go. Kicked out of bounds, goal kick for Fox Chapel. Wilson, considering again he's kicking into the wind, he's not doing a bad job getting that ball to midfield. Again the ball kicked back to the keeper. Jason O'Malley there kicks it back to Scott Sincrich. Jeff Thor may also see some goal keeping action today for Fox Chapel as that is supposedly the weaker part of their game. Throw in for Fox Chapel. Oh. 
Downingtown on the throw in here. Good long throw by the Whippets, but it's right to Fox Chapel. And now Straub controls in the midfield. Straub kicks one out of bounds off of Fox Chapel. Off of Chip Zimmerman, and Mooney will have the throw. Downingtown controlling the middle third of the field to this point. And that is really the part of the field you want to control. Chambers lifts it upfield for Burdickus. Sincrich gets it out, but Downingtown is putting some pressure on the Fox Chapel defense. For in this first quarter, there's no score. Fox Chapel controlling the ball in the middle of the field. Zimmerman against Donnan, and now Cafferkey on the header up for Burdickus. Burdickus hits one down to the corner, and it's going to be an offside. Looks like Jamie Wagner upfield on the wing. Wagner playing that left wing spot. Burdickus the striker. Cafferkey right wing. Straub is the center midfield. On the far side is Brian Jasek, left midfielder, and then Mooney, the right midfielder. And the fullbacks, Ian Chambers, Jeff Donnan, Tracy Kennedy, and Mike Caputo. Caputo playing sweeper. Straub. Mel Mooney will step up and intercept the crossing pass again, but now it's taken back by Fox Chapel. And now coming across, it's Tracy Kennedy. Kennedy pokes it down the side. Tough spot for Fox Chapel, and they'll kick it out of bounds. And so now it's another throw in for Downingtown, and that's Mike Caputo. Caputo comes down from his sweeper back position for the long throw. He had one earlier from the other side. He's going to try to get it into the goal mouth. We have a substitution coming for Fox Chapel coming to the scoring table. Number two, Joe O'Donnell will be checking in. Long throw. Chambers tries to put it back in, and now it's Zimmerman for Fox Chapel. Chambers staying with it. Now he's going to have a shot. It's on the ground, and now Fox Chapel clears it. Clear there by Donnan as he tries to swing it. Straub on the header. And now Wagner gets it up for Cafferkey, and Cafferkey kicks it out. It'll be a goal kick and very nearly a trip there. Cafferkey was nearly tripped. Wagner poked it through. Nice piece of work there by the Whippets offense, and they've put a lot of heat in the early going on this Fox Chapel defense. Downingtown again trying to repeat as state champs this year. Brian Wilson, Brad Wilson will have the six for Fox Chapel. He gets it up across midfield and kicked right back in by the Whippets. Three minutes left to go here in this first quarter. No score. Chambers. Now the ball poked away from Jasek. Lifted again into the goal mouth. It takes a high bounce. And out of bounds and a goal kick. And Sinkrich may be hurt, and I wonder if that should have been a corner kick. Unless that was a foul. The ball almost bounced over the head of the goalkeeper, Scott Sinkrich. Downingtown putting some heat on here in this first quarter again. Straub trying to get control. And now Fox Chapel will come out. It's number 10. Jason O'Malley. O'Malley coming down to middle of the field. Looking, pokes it in to the area. And now it's a shot for Fox Chapel. And over the goal, Elverson Brown, junior attacker. The shot over the net, but that's really only the second shot that Fox Chapel has had today. As most of the action has been in the Downingtown offensive half of the field. And there you see the Downingtown brain trust. Joe Izzy, the trainer. Assistant coaches. Defense, 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 defense. 
Coming up into the offensive end of the field, looking into the area, it's Fox Chapel, and now Downingtown tries to clear it out, but can't quite get it there. One minute left in this first quarter. Now the ball lifted down the side, and offside. Can't be offside on your own half of the field. And Fox Chapel will have a direct. Fox Chapel will have a direct kick from right on the midfield stripe. Thirty seconds left now in this first quarter. Fox Chapel on the kick. The wind holds the ball up. Fox is trying to get it in. Chambers with some tough defense out there on O'Malley. Chambers kicks it out of bounds. Who's it off of? It will be Fox Chapel in the throw in with less than 10 seconds to go. They're counting down the final 10 seconds of this first quarter. Hard shot from O'Malley. And the horn signals the end of the first quarter. So we've played 20 minutes. And for the most part, Downingtown controlled the action as they had the ball in the offensive end of the field for much of that first quarter. Well, we'll take a break and come back here to David C. Field. It is nothing, nothing after one quarter of play. We'll be right back. Thinking about a car phone, commercial two-way radio, or car stereo, but not sure what you need or can afford? Scott Weaver of Weaver Mobiles is ready to help. At Weaver Mobiles, you deal strictly with Scott, the owner, who works to make you the most satisfied customer around. Weaver Mobiles is a leading distributor of Metrophone car phones, Metro Media paging services, and a vast array of commercial two-way equipment, including emergency service communications. Weavers can also install a Pioneer or Jensen stereo in your vehicle. Call Weaver Mobiles at 857-5230, 857-5230. It may be the week of Thanksgiving, but who among you has not started to think about the Christmas holiday? At Artworks in Thorndale, you can get great gift ideas at special savings. Framed posters and prints make excellent gifts. Say Happy Holidays with an Artworks gift certificate. And of course, custom framing is always available for your photographs, needlework, or paintings. Artworks has the newest print by Richard Bollinger, Morning Star. This beautiful limited edition print is going fast, so reserve yours today. Artworks, 3539 East Lincoln Highway, Thorndale. Call 383-9926. Visa and MasterCard accepted. Quick Stop Pharmacy, where fast service at a low price is the rule, is your one-stop pharmacy in Thorndale. Quick Stop accepts all insurance plans and is open seven days a week. Quick Stop also features state-of-the-art computerized service, assuring you safety. Come into Quick Stop now and check out the selection of Christmas gift items, wrapping paper, and greeting cards. Quick Stop Pharmacy, your value right pharmacy in Thorndale. Open Monday through Friday, 9.30 to 8, Saturday, 9.30 to 5, and Sunday, 10 till 2. Call 384-6100. 384-6100. Back here at David C. Field at Shippensburg University on a beautiful fall afternoon. Temperature in the upper 40s. Breeze is blowing from left to right. Downingtown had benefit of that wind in that first quarter. And they controlled most of the action, keeping most of the action in their offensive end of the field. But now they switch ends. Downingtown now with the wind in their face. So we'll see if that affects play. Downingtown coming in today at 23-1-1. and Last year they were undefeated as state champions, and they were trying to set the all-time consecutive win streak, and it was snapped by Strathaven when they lost in the district playoffs after penalty kicks in overtime, and there was a large controversy, still is, as to whether or not that actually counts as a loss. Well, we're underway here for this second quarter, no score. Downingtown gets the tap, but now Fox Chapel immediately gets it. So now we change directions. Downingtown right to left in the gold jerseys, gold and blue. Fox Chapel left to right in the white. Fox Chapel is coached by Jim Perry, and Jim Perry's son coached Hampton a little earlier today in their scoreless tie with Great Valley. And this season, Hampton and, Great, and Fox Chapel played head-to-head, -head and Hampton came out on top 2-1. to one. 
Fox Chapel looking to swing it into the middle. Gobbled up by Donnan. Donnan will play it off his chest and hit it out with the left. And it bounces up and over. Wagner trying to skip it up and over the head of Bill Seipel, the defenseman for Fox Chapel, but to no avail, and it's still in the middle of the field. And now Jasek comes out, looking wide. He'll kick it out for Straub, and now Straub will try to put one through a seam. Not there, and back to the keeper it goes. Playing defense in soccer is all angles. And you try to attack the angles, try to catch the defenders flat, and push the ball through them to get your opportunities. That's how most goals are scored. O'Donnell skips it ahead now for Jason Lennon. Now Wagner moving head to head there. Ball rolls back again for Sinkrich. Scoreless here in the early goings of the second quarter. Fox Chapel in the throw in on the far side of the field. Hard shot there, and that will be a Fox Chapel restart, as I believe that was Straw that took down the Fox Chapel player. Getting the restart. Fox Chapel about 35 yards out with the left foot. Tries to get it into the 18, no good, and Wagner will bring it back out. So to this point in the second quarter, the wind has not been as helpful to Fox Chapel as it was to Downingtown. Jasek kicks it out of bounds, and Fox Chapel will get the throw. It's Terry Piper on the far side throwing it in for the Foxes. That's Elverson Brown down the left side, and he'll kick it out, and Downingtown will have a throw. Will be Mike Caputo to throw it in. Todd Cease, the goaltender, is being covered. So Caputo will throw it upfield. Cafferke brings it up, looking for Wagner. Nearly a dangerous play there by Seipel. And now down the left side, and nobody there, but busting hard is Burdickus. Forcing Mike Zott to get it back to his keeper, Sinkrich. It was a tough play as he had to turn and use his left. Downingtown trying to swing it. Brad Wilson playing defense over there, the sweeper. Downingtown still moving in, no. It's kicked out of bounds. That's Kevin on the far sideline, and we have a substitution for Fox Chapel. Number eight, Dave Babst. Coming in, a sophomore. He'll be replacing number 16, Jason Lennon. Goal kick for Fox Chapel. And while we have a chance, let's take a quick timeout, and we'll come back. There is no score in the early going. We'll be right back. Take control of your life now. Donald Bilyeu of Clinical Hypnosis Associates can help you relax, gain control, and become motivated. Hypnosis is an extremely powerful, safe, and predictable way to change your life. Clinical Hypnosis Associates can assist you in areas of anxiety, stress, smoking, weight loss, fears, phobias, and specializing in training for sports competition. It's never too late to take control of your life. Call Clinical Hypnosis Associates now. Good things do happen to people who feel good about themselves. Harrison House of Coachville has been home to hundreds of senior citizens. In response to the problems and special needs of the elderly, Harrison House is proud to announce the opening of a brand new wing. Harrison House can now provide a caring, secure environment for those suffering early symptoms of Alzheimer's disease. It's the first unit of its kind in the area, totally self-contained with a highly skilled staff and special security system that prevents residents who are often confused or forgetful from wandering off. The entire area is bright, cheery, and spacious. Each resident has a private room with bath. All services and meals are provided with special attention paid to dietary problems and other needs common to early Alzheimer's disease. If you have a friend or relative suffering early symptoms of Alzheimer's, Harrison House can help. Rates are less than most folks anticipate, 
much less than a nursing home. For information, call 384-6310, 384-6310, or visit Harrison House, 300 Strode Avenue in Coatesville's West End. Al and Addie Kelly opened Kelly Sports Limited in Westchester over 17 years ago to provide people interested in athletics with athletic equipment and services in a family atmosphere. And they succeeded. At Kelly's, the customer's needs get priority. Customers are treated with warm courtesy and family service. Nowhere else in southeastern Pennsylvania will you find anyone who has the inventory as readily available as Kelly Sports Limited. Kelly's has more name brands than any other athletic business in the area. There you will find quality equipment for every member of your football, swimming, track, baseball, lacrosse, and hockey team. They also have a large selection of sporting goods for all individual sports. And they now offer custom silk screening and embroidery services available on the premises. That's Kelly's Sports at the Route 202 Bypass and Matlag Street in Westchester. Open Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, 10 to 6, Wednesday and Friday, 10 to 9, and Saturday, 9.30 to 5. We're back. And Todd Sees gathers in the ball, and he'll have a punt. He punts it out. Fox Chapel. Trying to control it, Ian Chambers there, busting hard, and the ball kicked. It hits right on top, and it's right here at the booth. <laughs> so they'll get another ball, and we'll back to action here. Fox Chapel in the middle third of the field controlling. That's Brad Wilson, the sweeper. Best player on the team, according to the scouting reports. That's Zimmerman now with it. Back to Wilson. Wilson looking to set something up. He'll swing it out to the outside. That's O'Malley. He tries to put it through, and good defense over there on the far side by Mooney. Wilson now. Outside to Seipel. Seipel tries to take it inside. He does. Now he pokes it with the toe. And it's inside into the area now. Fox Chapel with a header. The ball still up for grabs. Shot just wide of the net. Dave Baps just into the game. Hits the outside of the net. And that was definitely the closest chance for either team to this point in the ball game. Good crowd here on hand today for Downingtown. A lot of people make the trip. Took us about two hours, a little over two hours to get here, about 125 miles. Shippensburg University. All rolled through now, and again, Burdickas busts on the ball. Downingtown, 23, one and one. Fox Chapel at 24 and two. Downingtown's district activity. They defeated Cumberland Valley 1-0, CB East 3-1, and then Strathaven 4-2, the team they had lost to earlier on in the district semifinals. And there's a header for Downingtown and knocked away by Sinkrich. Jake Straub on the header, very nearly into the corner of the net. Had to be a good save by Scott Sinkrich to save the goal, and now a corner for Downingtown. And you can see the field has a little crown to it. Left footed, kick, and on the head, and it's brought out of there easily by Elverson Brown. Brown down the left side, a lot of speed there. On the move. Into the middle. And now Jasek takes it out. Substitution coming in for Downingtown is number seven, Steve Wilson. We'll be checking in for Jamie Wagner and Lennon will come back in and Baps will check back out. Not a whole lot of substitutions expected today in this state championship game. Downingtown, Jamie Wagner. Wilson now has it for Fox Chapel and now he swings it out, nice ball. A lot of space and time for Seipel. And now a sliding tackle by Kafferke, and they'll call a delay. And it's going to be a yellow card. 
a yellow card will be issued to Jake Cafferkey on the sliding tackle as he slid in to Bill Seipel. There you see the official coming over to give the scoring table the information. Jake Cafferkey gets the yellow card and he'll come out of the ball game and that is a warning. If he gets a red card, he will be ejected from the game. So Cafferkey, there he is, number 20, gets the yellow card. And again, if he gets a red, he's going to be gone, and Downingtown will play a man short the rest of the day. So Cafferkey now, one of the co-captains, has been booked, as they say, overseas. Now the ball over the end line, and it will be a goal kick for Downingtown. We have no score in this second period. State championship game. Downingtown had a lot of chances in that first period. They kept the ball down in the Fox Chapel end. Pretty even so far in the second quarter. Ball going back and forth. A couple of good chances for Fox Chapel. Ball in the middle of the field. Lennon has it, and now it's stolen away by Straub. Looking ahead down the right-hand side, it's Wagner. It's Bredekasin, he's in a foot race with Wilson. Gets back to Sinkrich. Paul Verdickus and Brad Wilson getting to know one another today. Verdickus likes to use that speed. Ball now rolled out to the side where you have the space. Chambers takes it back in. Now Wilson will return the favor. Chambers busting back on the ball, but it's controlled by number two, Joe O'Donnell, in the ball game for Fox Chapel. Now a little square pass picked up by Jamie Wagner. Ball out of bounds and Downingtown will have the throw. This field is really crowned. The ball can roll. The field is in pretty good condition considering it was raining this morning. Dried out and we've got blue skies and we have a substitution coming in for Fox Chapel again. Number nine, Marco Patitucci. Checks in for Joe O'Donnell, number two. Fox Chapel on the throw. Zimmerman has it. Goes off of him out of bounds, and now Downingtown will get the throw. It'll be Donnan on the throw in. Good throw. Down the side is Wagner. Trying to make a move. Looking. Double teamed, and now the ball knocked away by Wilson. Halfway through the second quarter, there are 10 minutes left to play and a scoreless tie. Fox Chapel moving up the field now, unmolested. And now Donnan clears it out of bounds and now Reed Smith has it. Header down the side and out of bounds. Greg Milligan here at David C. Field at Shippensburg University for the state championship game in AAA soccer. Downingtown Whippets, the defending state champions from last year, defeating Mount Lebanon 1-0 here on this very same field last year. Much colder conditions last year, about 20 degrees colder. There were snow flurries during that game. You'll recall that Thanksgiving week was rather cold and snowy last year. This year it's a chilly day, but a nice one. Downingtown has a throw on the far side. It's Wagner now controlling. Double team, as you can see in your picture. Wagner trying to swing it, and he can't do it. Wagner really being double teamed on that far sideline. A little square pass now, and stolen away by the Whippets. Ooh. Jasek almost had a big chance as he stole it away and had one man to beat and couldn't quite get it there. And now Straub on the steal. Downingtown getting every loose ball. Stolen away by Jason O'Malley. Downingtown is getting to the loose balls today. They're busting on them. Cafferkey now will return to the ball game for the Whippets. 
We have less than 10 minutes to play here in this first half with no score, and now Cafferkey will check in. So we're going to have a restart for the Whippets, and there it is down the right side. Wagner lifts one towards the net, and Sinkrich will knock it down. And Burdickus comes in on him. Sinkrich again had to make the play. Downingtown didn't score in that game last year here against Mount Lebanon until the second half, and then held on for the one nothing win. Gave up two goals against Strathaven in their game last week that got them here a 4-2 win. But they had a measure of revenge there as it was Strathaven that took away the unbeaten streak earlier in the district playoffs. Back to Wilson and now a big square ball. Out for Seipel and now Seipel will go down the sideline for Zimmerman. Good defense coming back. Number seven, Steve Wilson, came back and played good defense there. Straw busts on the ball, but Foxes get it away, and now Zimmerman trying to break into the clear, and he does. He may line up a shot. Now he's going to stop it, poke it back. O'Malley gets it. Now he'll go down the side to Seipel. Seipel will try to turn it here. He lifts it towards the goal mouth and over the goal and out of bounds. And we'll take a timeout. There are less than 10 minutes to go in this first half. There's no score. We'll be right back to Shippensburg after this. For energy efficiency, low maintenance, and a lifetime glass breakage warranty, Floridian replacement windows from BJ Exteriors in Downingtown have no competition. These beautiful Floridian replacement windows defeat rising energy bills, corrosion, and peeling. And if you break the glass, BJ Exteriors will replace it, no matter what the reason. Floridian replacement windows also come with a 10-year warranty on labor, making them the winning windows for every home. BJ Exteriors also specialize in vinyl siding, vinyl trim, roofing, gutters, downspouts, and storm windows. BJ Exteriors offers exterior remodeling you can trust with free estimates. Showroom hours are Monday through Friday from 9 to 5, Saturdays from 9 till noon. Stop into BJ Exteriors, 21 East Lancaster Avenue in Downingtown. Or call 269-1119. That's 269-1119 for BJ Exteriors in Downingtown. Chester County Travel, with two convenient locations to serve you, is your full-service travel agency in Chester County. From corporate travel to airline tickets to first-class cruises, Chester County Travel can handle every detail, assuring you smooth sailing. And now, Chester County Travel offers World on Wheels, a mobile video travel library for the busy family. Thousands of videotapes are available for in-home consultations. Just call either Chester County Travel Office for an appointment or more information. Chester County Travel in the Colonial 100 Shopping Center in Exton or 301 East Lincoln Highway in Coatesville. Call 363-2060 or 383-6110 for Chester County Travel. Chester County Collision at 10 Stewart Avenue in Downingtown can handle every facet of collision repair. From minor fender benders to frame straightening, you are assured complete satisfaction when you let Chester County Collision repair your vehicle. And all insurance claims are handled quickly and fairly. For the best in collision repair at a fair price, please consider Chester County Collision, 10 Stewart Avenue in Downingtown. Call 269-3752 for Chester County Collision. Cafferkey comes in again for the Whippets and out goes Jamie Wagner. Wagner going to get a little air. He's got to be tired. He's done a lot of running in this first half. The Whippets have had a lot of runs. They made a lot of runs on the goal, and some have uh, came out with pretty good chances. But to this point, it's scoreless. Cafferkey in the middle of the field trying to control it. Now it's going to be Straub. Cafferkey with a nice left-footed grab. Stuck the left foot out there and snagged the ball, and Jasek applying the pressure on the far side of the field, and Downingtown will have the throw in. Five minutes now left to play in this first half from Shippensburg. The state championship game earlier today, again, Great Valley. Co-champions for the second consecutive year with a scoreless tie against Hampton. 
middle of the field, some physical contact there. Some little pushing and shoving going on. Number seven, Steve Wilson. Elverson Brown takes a spill for Fox Chapel. Good pressure by Burdickus on number 15, Mike Zott. Zott looking for someone to go to and couldn't find anyone because Burdickus was bugging him. And now Downingtown will have the throw on the far side of the field. Well done there by the Whippets. The good throw in, header back, and then up ahead, and now the ball loose in the middle of the field. Wilson gets it up ahead. Brown lays it back in a nice drop, and now O'Donnell will try to lift it inside, and he's got Zimmerman over the head of Zimmerman. Near the corner, it's Reed Smith, and he loses it out of bounds, and that could have been a good chance for Fox Chapel as Smith would have had the ball facing the goal and no one in front of him. Could have picked and choose what he wanted to do there, but he lost it out of bounds, and Downingtown will have the goal kick. It will be Mike Caputo, the sweeper back. Last line of defense back there. Similar to a free safety in football. Jasek being pushed from behind, no call. Caffrey now trying to control, Reed Smith guarding. Caffrey tries to turn it, gets it up the sideline, and it will stay in bounds. And into the crowd goes the ball. Number 15, Mike Zott boots it into the crowd, and now Downingtown will have another throw. Less than five to play here in the first half. Caffrey down the right side, he'll hit it and run. Tries to slide through, and we'll have a trip. Remember, Caffrey had a yellow card earlier in the game, and if he gets a red, he's going to be gone. Tries a sliding tackle there. It does not work. And again, Joe O'Donnell will come to the scoring table for Fox Chapel. Jasek has time, and he'll put a nice ball out to the left side for Steve Wilson. Wilson trying to make a move on Seipel. Poked out of bounds. Wilson. <laughs> Wilson, thinking about hitting it to the corner. And now there's Wilson. We have a throw here. Chambers tries to throw for Wilson down the sideline, and it hits off a Fox Chapel player, and they're battling for it in the corner. A lot of contact out there, and now we have a stoppage, and it will be against Downingtown on the trip. And so Fox Chapel will get the restart. Not much time left in this first half. It is scoreless. Now Caputo kicks it off the side of his foot and out of bounds. O'Donnell checking into the ball game for Fox Chapel. And on the throw in it will be number nine, Marco Patatucci. Nice Irish name. Throw into Brad Wilson, Fox's sweeper. And now Elverson Brown down in the corner, looking, trying to make a move. And now we're going to have a whistle. And who will this be against? It looks like it will be against. That's a goal kick. It went over the end line. So the Whippets will have a six with time running out here. In this first half, there is no score. One minute left in the first half from David C. Field. Fox Chapel moves it up. Patatucci looks for a shot. Good defense. By number 19, Tracy Kennedy. And now a push up. And Wilson leaves it for Jasek. Jasek down the left side into the corner. Going to try to swing it. Gets it in, but Wilson was there. Ball still free. Chambers pokes one high in the air. Sinkrich can't see it because of the sun. It's in front. Straub a shot over the top of the goal. Sinkrich, you see him there in the red shirt holding his hands up. He could not see the ball. He lost it in the sun as the sun is on this side of the field, the near side. The ball went up. He lost it in the sun. And Jake Straub shot a bullet right over the net. And the last five seconds of the period will be counted out in Downingtown. That was probably their best chance of that first half, and it comes right at the end of the second period. There is no score here at Shippensburg University for the AAA State Soccer Championship between Downingtown and Fox Chapel. We'll take a break and come back for more action.
but we're back. And we're ready to go as Fox Chapel will be tapping off. And there you see Zimmerman and Brown will be tapping it up for the Foxes. Fox Chapel in their white jerseys and Downingtown in the blue and gold, the Whippets colors. And we're underway in the second half. It is a scoreless tie. Fox Chapel going right to left. And the Whippets have the wind here in this third quarter, left to right. But Fox Chapel will have the wind in that fourth quarter, so keep that in mind. Downingtown. Gets it up, Ridicus gets one down the left-hand side, and we've got a chance here for the Whippets early. It's Wagner in the left-hand side with Seipel. Looking, loses his footing, and Seipel gets it and then kicks it off of Wagner out of bounds. But a nice ball by Paul Burdickus down the left-hand side, and Wagner had a chance to make a run. Early moments here in this third quarter. No score. That's it, Tracy! Fighting for it here in the middle third of the field. Now it's kicked back to Scott Sincrich. Middle third of the field is really the key to controlling the ball game. If you can control the middle third, you can generally control the game. Sincrich on the kick. A decent kick into the wind. Wind has been pretty consistent today. The American flag at the east goal, the Downingtown goal this period is pretty well out straight. Straub moving down the field in the middle. Now a little give and go play and Burdickus loses the ball as he was double teamed again. Burdickus drawing a lot of attention. Now a good ball down the left side for Fox Chapel and cleared away by Mike Caputo. Caputo sweeping, stepped up and cleared it out. Throw in number 11, Terry Piper. And now Cafferkey has a chance, causing a little havoc back there as Mike Zott has to clear it back, and now Wilson has it. Guarded by Cafferkey, number 20. Front line, Verdickus, Cafferkey, and Wagner. Fullbacks, Mooney, Straub, and Jasic. And the fullbacks, Donnan, Caputo, Chambers, and Wilson, and now in front, it's Everson Brown, and Brown shoots and scores! Everson Brown with the goal, and Fox Chapel goes up one to nothing. They're gonna give the goal to Jason O'Malley, I believe. I thought it was Everson Brown, number 20. It is Elverson Brown, now they change it. Elverson Brown gets credit for the goal. Todd Cease not able to get that one as Brown had the chance. And he puts it in and it's one to nothing. Fox Chapel, early going here of the third quarter. Downingtown will have the tap. Straub and Burdickus tap it off and the Whippets are back into action. They trail it one to nothing. Two and a half minutes into that third quarter. So there are 17.30 left at the time of the goal in the third quarter. So there's a long way to go. Downingtown trails it one to nothing. And now the Whippets have a chance. It's Cafferkey trying to settle. He's going to take it and now look to swing. Kicks it on the ground and out of bounds for a goal kick for Fox Chapel. So Fox Chapel, two and a half minutes into the third quarter, get a goal from Elverson Brown. Brown tries to play one off of his chest, and there's a push against Brown, and Fox Chapel will have to back up, and the Whippets will have a chance at midfield, right at midfield, to try to lift one in about the 18 and maybe skip one through and have a chance for a goal here. It's going to be number 17 for the Whippets, Jeff Donnan, to tee it up. He's going to try to lift one up at about the 18. He's going to get it. Cafferkey tries to skip it through. It doesn't make it through. Fox Chapel pokes it out, and it's a free ball. And Burdickus and Zimmerman collide. And now Wagner down the side. 
moves in on the goaltender, Sinkrich. Sinkrich has it. Ball coming out. Header out of bounds, and Downingtown will have it. They trail one to nothing. Fox Chapel with the lead. Two and a half minutes into the third quarter. Elverson Brown with the goal. He rolls it in. It wasn't a hard shot, but it got past Cease and rolled into the net. And here comes Mike Caputo for the throw in. As we get back into the action there. Caputo now, his third long throw down deep today. They have not resulted in much to this point. Skips up in front of the net. Kafferke on the header. The ball's open and out of bounds. As the ball was still loose, Kafferke got the head on it and headed it towards the goal, but out of bounds. One to nothing. Fox Chapel on top. Brad Wilson, the sweeper for the Foxes, will tee it up. Lifts one out to midfield, and Straub gets ahead on it. O'Donnell now has it. Ooh, sticks his face right in there near Burdickus's foot. Far side of the field now. It's O'Donnell in a foot race, foot race with Straub, and O'Donnell's winning it. Now he tries to swing it inside. Good defense by Tracy Kennedy. Now bringing it back out for the Whippets is number 30, Caputo. And now a good swing ball, and we might have a chance here. No. Kafferke was ready to bust in on number 11, Terry Piper, but Piper got it away. And now another chance for the Whippets. Mooney comes down. He's got time and space. A nice shot. And a save by Sinkrich. Mooney with a left foot. A hard left foot there by Brian Mooney. Derek Mooney, excuse me. Chambers now with it. Out of bounds. Ball goes out of bounds and we'll take a quick break. It's one nothing Fox Chapel. We'll be right back after this. Take control of your life now. Donald Bilyeu of Clinical Hypnosis Associates can help you relax, gain control, and become motivated. Hypnosis is an extremely powerful, safe, and predictable way to change your life. Clinical Hypnosis Associates can assist you in areas of anxiety, stress, smoking, weight loss, fears, phobias, and specializing in training for sports competition. It's never too late to take control of your life. Call Clinical Hypnosis Associates now. Good things do happen to people who feel good about themselves. Harrison House of Coachville has been home to hundreds of senior citizens. In response to the problems and special needs of the elderly, Harrison House is proud to announce the opening of a brand new wing. Harrison House can now provide a caring, secure environment for those suffering early symptoms of Alzheimer's disease. It's the first unit of its kind in the area, totally self-contained with a highly skilled staff and special security system that prevents residents who are often confused or forgetful from wandering off. The entire area is bright, cheery, and spacious. Each resident has a private room with bath. All services and meals are provided with special attention paid to dietary problems and other needs common to early Alzheimer's disease. If you have a friend or relative suffering early symptoms of Alzheimer's, Harrison House can help. Rates are less than most folks anticipate, much less than a nursing home. For information, call 384-6310. 384-6310 or visit Harrison House, 300 Strode Avenue in Coatesville's West End. Al and Addie Kelly opened Kelly Sports Limited in Westchester over 17 years ago to provide people interested in athletics with athletic equipment and services in a family atmosphere. And they succeeded. At Kelly's, the customer's needs get priority. Customers are treated with warm courtesy and family service. Nowhere else in southeastern Pennsylvania will you find anyone who has the inventory as readily available as Kelly Sports Limited. Kelly's has more name brands than any other athletic business in the area. There you will find quality equipment for every member of your football, swimming, track, baseball, lacrosse, and hockey team. They also have a large selection of sporting goods for all individual sports. 
And they now offer custom silk screening and embroidery services available on the premises. That's Kelly Sports at the Route 202 Bypass and Matlack Street in Westchester. Open Monday, Tuesday and Thursday 10 to 6, Wednesday and Friday 10 to 9, and Saturday 9.30 to 5. Back here in Fox Chapel, kicking it back to Sinkrich, the keeper. I want to thank all of our sponsors today for their being on our telecast of the Downingtown State Soccer Championship game. And right now it is 1-0 Fox Chapel in this third quarter. Elverson Brown has the ball in the middle of the field. He has the only goal of the game to this point. Chambers now with tough defense and a good hard tackle by Ian Chambers. Fox Chapel now controlling the pace a little bit more than they have. Cease will have to make the catch. And Chip Zimmerman came flying in. Nearly headed that ball out of the air over Cease's head. Cease with the drop kick. Good header by number 15 for the Foxes, Mike Zott. Out of bounds, and Downingtown will have the throw again. Third quarter action, 1-0 Fox Chapel. Here at Shippensburg University on the campus, David C. Field. Middle of the field being controlled now by Fox Chapel in this third quarter. Chambers now has it, and he's got a little bit of room and a little time. Tries to roll it past the defense. Perdiccas is going to get it. A nice heel pass for Chambers. Sliding clear by Fox Chapel. Brown has it with a little thigh trap, and now he's going to turn into the middle of the field, and he's looking for room. He's got a square pass, and he gets it out there to Reed Smith. Smith looking. He's going to cross it back the other way for O'Donnell. O'Donnell with the left rolls it in on Cease, and Cease will gather it up. Todd Cease. A lot of backspin on that ball. It's going to come out to the side here, and here comes Cafferkey. Cafferkey with a good ball, and he puts it into the middle, and it's a foot race. Burdickus gets it, and now Wagner's going to have a chance if he can get it under control. Now he gets it. He puts it into the middle of the field, and there's nobody there. Over the head of Burdickus. Wagner couldn't quite get the ball under control. Mooney settles it, but right into the waiting feet of Jason Lennon. Lennon rolls it ahead for Fox Chapel. Another sliding tackle by Mike Caputo, and it goes out of bounds. Substitution for Fox Chapel, and it will wait because Downingtown has the throw. Coming into the game now for the Whippets will be number 14, Chris Larkin. And he will now check into the ball game, replacing, I believe, number 19, Tracy Kennedy. Yes, Kennedy will come out, and number 14, Chris Larkin, will check in at fullback, guarding Elverson Brown. Header by O'Donnell for Fox Chapel, and now up ahead by the Whippets and out of bounds. And a throw in for Fox Chapel, and now a substitution for the Foxes. As number nine, Marco Patitucci will check in. He comes in for number two, Joe O'Donnell. Fox Chapel, a big physical team. And they have been banging today, a lot of sliding tackles. The Whippets have had a few chances with their speed up front with Wagner and Burdickus. There's still a lot of time. Perhaps they can make a run here and maybe get a goal and tie this thing up. Fox Chapel leads it one to nothing. Number 17, Jeff Donnan. We'll get the restart here for the Whippets. Sun getting low now as we approach late afternoon. It could become a factor as it had in that first half. It nearly resulted in a goal for Downingtown when the keeper, Sinkrich, lost it in the sun. Larkin moves out, a sliding tackle and out of bounds and Fox Chapel will get the throw. There's Marco Patitucci out there. Gets it in quickly to number 16, Mike, or that's Jason Lennon. Tries to get it through and now it's Perdiccas and up ahead for Chip Zimmerman. Zimmerman guarded by Donnan, nice cutback move by Zimmerman. He's gonna poke it in but then clear it away by Caputo, Mike Caputo. There you see Fox Chapel bench. 
Going to try to go far side and it's headed away. Ball out of bounds. And it will be a throw in for the Foxes. It will be number 10, Jason O'Malley, to throw it in for the Foxes. And he gets it into Petrucci. And now the Whippets have a chance to swing it. And Cafferkey guarded very closely. And headed out of bounds by Fox Chapel. And Downingtown will have the throw. It's Mooney. Mooney tries to throw one. He throws it right on the head of number 14, Reed Smith, for Fox Chapel. And then a trip. And again, it's on Elverson Brown. And the Whippets will have a restart on the offensive side of the field. Right on the near sideline. There you see head coach for Fox Chapel, Jim Perry, in the red sweatsuit. Header. Knocked away, and the Whippets still trying in front. Lifted near the goal, and Straub is there, but Sinkrich grabs it. Straub not quite there quick enough as the ball came through quickly. Mooney settles under to head it. He takes it off his knee and goes out of bounds. Coach Bob Sterner yelling instructions to his team. They trail one to nothing as they try to repeat as state champs. Larkin gets it up. Straw up with a little touch and a little give and go. Cafferkey tries to get it up on the header for Dickinson. He's knocked down, but no call. Sinkrich gathers it in for Fox Chapel. Scott Sinkrich, a senior. We expected to see a little bit of Jeff Thor today, but we have not to this point. Jasek whiffs on it at midfield and Good effort there by Mooney. Derek Mooney to keep that ball alive. And now the ball is open at midfield. Another good effort by Mooney. And no call there as that's a play on. And Fox Chapel has a chance. Reed Smith gets it out on the side and now flips it inside. It's Elverson Brown. And then Zimmerman comes in on the head and it's over the goal. Chip Zimmerman came flying in out of nowhere on the header. Over the goal mouth and out of bounds. And it will be a goal kick for the Whippets. Caputo, the sweeper, will take it. A good chance there is a good crossing ball by Terry Piper, number 11, for Fox Chapel that time. And Zimmerman got a head on it and headed it over the goal. Good head through by Straub. Just missed getting it right through. And a good run. caprick has got it now. Got two men on him. Now he gets it back to Mooney. And Mooney will lift one up. Good ball. Wagner. Comes down, it will go out of bounds. It was a good ball, a good idea by Mooney. Just a little too long, but it was perfectly placed right over the head of the defense. Just ran out of territory at the end. Wilson and Sinkrich. Sinkrich the goalkeeper in the red and Wilson in the white. Wagner trying to settle, can't do it. And now busting through hard is Chambers. And now Mooney will take the left foot and put it right on the foot of Wagner. And now he tries to get it through to Cafferkey. And rolls it, they roll it back to the keeper as it's Piper rolling it back to Sinkrich. And now he rolls it back out. And now we have a little acting by Zimmerman and it will work. And Downingtown on the infraction and Fox Chapel will have the restart. About five yards away from the midfield stripe and having the restart will be Terry Piper. Piper lifts it with the left foot. And now Straub has it. Thought about hitting it to the corner. He gave it to Cafferkey instead. Nice move by Cafferkey and then he loses it out of bounds. And so we'll have a throw in for Fox Chapel. Why don't we take a quick break? We'll be right back. It's one nothing Fox Chapel back right after this. For energy efficiency, low maintenance, and a lifetime glass breakage warranty, Floridian replacement windows from BJ Exteriors in Downingtown have no competition. These beautiful Floridian replacement windows defeat rising energy bills, corrosion, and peeling. And if you break the glass, BJ Exteriors will replace it, no matter what the reason. 
Floridian replacement windows also come with a 10-year warranty on labor, making them the winning windows for every home. BJ Exteriors also specialize in vinyl siding, vinyl trim, roofing, gutters, downspouts, and storm windows. BJ Exteriors offers exterior remodeling you can trust with free estimates. Showroom hours are Monday through Friday from 9 to 5, Saturdays from 9 till noon. Stop into BJ Exteriors, 21 East Lancaster Avenue in Downingtown, or call 269-1119. That's 269-1119 for BJ Exteriors in Downingtown. Chester County Travel, with two convenient locations to serve you, is your full-service travel agency in Chester County. From corporate travel to airline tickets to first-class cruises, Chester County Travel can handle every detail, assuring you smooth sailing. And now, Chester County Travel offers World on Wheels, a mobile video travel library for the busy family. Thousands of videotapes are available for in-home consultations. Just call either Chester County Travel Office for an appointment or more information. Chester County Travel in the Colonial 100 Shopping Center in Exton or 301 East Lincoln Highway in Coatesville. Call 363-2060 or 383-6110 for Chester County Travel. Chester County Collision at 10 Stewart Avenue in Downingtown can handle every facet of collision repair. From minor fender benders to frame straightening, you are assured complete satisfaction when you let Chester County Collision repair your vehicle. And all insurance claims are handled quickly and fairly. For the best in collision repair at a fair price, please consider Chester County Collision, 10 Stewart Avenue in Downingtown. Call 269-3752 for Chester County Collision. Back here at Shippensburg University, David C. Field. It's 1-0 Fox Chapel in the last few minutes of this third quarter. Fox Chapel scored two minutes and 30 seconds into this third period. Looking for more, there's a shot over the goal mouth. Number 16, Jason Lennon on the shot there with the left foot. A lot of these Fox Chapel players not afraid to use that left. Normally the biggest weakness of a high school player is that he is one-footed. will be Donnan this time on the goal kick and Brown has it for Fox Chapel. Mooney now tries to get it up past midfield and now Wagner gets it off the outside of his foot. Burdickus tries to get it to Chambers and busting hard on it. Fox Chapel number 15, Mike Zott. Square pass. And another, and there's another one out here on the side if they need it. They try to go through, and Mooney gets it. Mooney gets it up ahead to Caprici. He can poke by, and now Caprici's going to have a chance. Wilson's back there on defense, and Wilson will get it back to Sinkrich. And Wilson goes down, and he may have turned an ankle or a shin. Looks like he may have been kicked in the shin. And we'll have an official stop the clock. Caffrey and Wilson were in a foot race. Wilson got back there. Caffrey slid at the last minute to try to knock the ball away. Wilson up slowly, holding his leg, looks like his shin. Caffrey had a yellow card earlier in the ball game for a sliding tackle. The official in there talking to the Fox Chapel players. It's one nothing Fox Chapel. Why don't we take a break and we'll come back to Shippensburg University. We're late in the third quarter. It's one nothing Fox Chapel back after this. Thinking about a car phone, commercial two-way radio, or car stereo, but not sure what you need or can afford? Scott Weaver of Weaver Mobiles is ready to help. At Weaver Mobiles, you deal strictly with Scott, the owner, who works to make you the most satisfied customer around. Weaver Mobiles is a leading distributor of Metrophone car phones, Metro Media paging services, and a vast array of commercial two-way equipment, including emergency service communications. Weavers can also install a Pioneer or Jensen stereo in your vehicle. Call Weaver Mobiles at 857-5230, 857-5230. It may be the week of Thanksgiving, but who among you has not started to think about the Christmas holiday? At Artworks in Thorndale, you can get great gift ideas at special savings. Framed posters and prints make excellent gifts. Say happy holidays with an Artworks gift certificate. And of course, custom framing is always available for your photographs, needlework, or paintings. Artworks has the newest print by Richard Bollinger, Morning Star. This beautiful limited edition print is going fast, so reserve yours today. Artworks, 3539 East Lincoln Highway, Thorndale. Call 383-9926. Visa and MasterCard accepted. 
Quick Stop Pharmacy, where fast service at a low price is the rule, is your one-stop pharmacy in Thorndale. Quick Stop accepts all insurance plans and is open seven days a week. Quick Stop also features state-of-the-art computerized service, assuring you safety. Come into Quick Stop now and check out the selection of Christmas gift items, wrapping paper, and greeting cards. Quick Stop Pharmacy, your value right pharmacy in Thorndale. Open Monday through Friday, 9.30 to 8, Saturday, 9.30 to 5, and Sunday, 10 till 2. Call 384-6100, 384-6100. Back here at David C. Field. It is 1-0 Fox Chapel. And Wilson will have the restart. Remember, Cafferkey has that yellow card from earlier in the game. Zimmerman gets the head. Back to Reed Smith. Smith looking, gets it out square to O'Donnell. O'Donnell with another touch to Wilson. Wilson will now turn around and he looks for the drop. He's going to drop it off. Out to the side and a lot of time for a number 11 Piper. Now Zimmerman plays it off his chest and it goes out of bounds and the Whippets will have it on the throw. Late in this third quarter, one nothing. Perdiccas. And it's a hold on Fox Chapel and now Downingtown will have a good chance on the right side on the restart. And they get it to Straub. Straub looks for a shot. He's gonna try a banana outside of the foot. Put a little spin on it, try to curve it around the goaltender, and Sinkrich grabs it. The ball bounces out, and we have a substitution coming in for Fox Chapel. Number eight, Dave Babst, will again come in for Jason Lennon. Late in the third quarter, it's 1-0. Fox Chapel, they scored two minutes and 30 seconds into the third quarter. Elverson Brown, not a real fancy shot, he just had the opening and rolled it past the goalkeeper, Todd Cease. Whippets, one minute left in this third quarter. Larkin tries to get it back out. And the Whippets. Whippets have not had much control of the ball in this third quarter as Fox Chapel controlling the ball in the quarter much more. And that'll be substitution for Fox Chapel. Number eight, Dave Baps coming in for Jason Lennon in this last minute of play. 30 seconds left to go in this third quarter. It is 1-0 Fox Chapel on top. Larkin tries to get out. Chambers lets it roll out of bounds. 15 seconds, 10 seconds, and the count starts, and we'll have 20 minutes left here as Downingtown will have to score in the next 20 minutes or there will be a new state champion. And that's the end of the third quarter. So after three quarters of play, there are 20 minutes to go. It is 1-0 Fox Chapel. We'll be back to Shippensburg for the final 20 minutes right after this. Take control of your life now. Donald Bilyeu of Clinical Hypnosis Associates can help you relax, gain control, and become motivated. Hypnosis is an extremely powerful, safe, and predictable way to change your life. Clinical Hypnosis Associates can assist you in areas of anxiety, stress, smoking, weight loss, fears, phobias, and specializing in training for sports competition. It's never too late to take control of your life. Call Clinical Hypnosis Associates now. Good things do happen to people who feel good about themselves. Harrison House of Coachville has been home to hundreds of senior citizens. In response to the problems and special needs of the elderly, Harrison House is proud to announce the opening of a brand new wing. Harrison House can now provide a caring, secure environment for those suffering early symptoms of Alzheimer's disease. It's the first unit of its kind in the area, totally self-contained with a highly skilled staff and special security system that prevents residents who are often confused or forgetful from wandering off. The entire area is bright, cheery, and spacious. Each resident has a private room with bath, 
All services and meals are provided with special attention paid to dietary problems and other needs common to early Alzheimer's disease. If you have a friend or relative suffering early symptoms of Alzheimer's, Harrison House can help. Rates are less than most folks anticipate, much less than a nursing home. For information, call 384-6310, 384-6310, or visit Harrison House, 300 Strode Avenue in Coatesville's West End. Al and Addie Kelly opened Kelly Sports Limited in Westchester over 17 years ago to provide people interested in athletics with athletic equipment and services in a family atmosphere. And they succeeded. At Kelly's, the customer's needs get priority. Customers are treated with warm courtesy and family service. Nowhere else in southeastern Pennsylvania will you find anyone who has the inventory as readily available as Kelly Sports Limited. Kelly's has more name brands than any other athletic business in the area. There you will find quality equipment for every member of your football, swimming, track, baseball, lacrosse, and hockey team. They also have a large selection of sporting goods for all individual sports. And they now offer custom silk screening and embroidery services available on the premises. That's Kelly Sports at the Route 202 Bypass and Matlack Street in Westchester. Open Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, 10 to 6, Wednesday and Friday, 10 to 9, and Saturday, 9.30 to 5. Well, there's the medal that the Fox Chapel Foxes and the Downingtown Whippets are going for. That's the state championship medal, and all the players on the state championship team that wins the state championship will have the medal. And if Downingtown wants one, they're going to have to get two goals and keep Fox Chapel off the scoreboard for the rest of this game. It's one nothing Fox Chapel as the Whippets get ready to start this fourth quarter. Straub and Burdickus will get things going for the Whippets. They need a goal and another one to win it. They're 20 minutes away from losing their crown as state champs that they've had for a year. Wagner tries to bust in on the ball. And now skip through, nearly through. Seipel with nice defense. Jasic now lifts it down the side. And what's the call? An infraction against Downingtown. Can't quite see that angle. O'Donnell. Good contact. Zimmerman and Larkin pushing and shoving. A lot of contact. A very physical team, this Fox Chapel team. And Downingtown not backing away. Downingtown's ready to put their body in on the line here in this state championship game. And we've got two balls out on the field. And now Ball Boy gets one of them off. It will be Brad Wilson on the restart for the Foxes. Bapsed with it, and now Downingtown gets it out, and Seipel will poke it out of bounds for Fox Chapel, and the Whippets will have the restart on the throw-in. Downingtown trying to become the first team in PA soccer, PIAA soccer history, to repeat as a state champ. As the ball goes out of bounds off of Downingtown, off of Jamie Wagner, and Seipel will have the throw in for the Foxes. And now it goes out of bounds again. All the action here in the early goings of this fourth quarter, right on the near sideline, right in front of us. Greg Milligan here, David C. Field at Chippensburg University. one nothing Fox Chapel, fourth quarter just underway, maybe two minutes old. Patatucci out now has it. He hits a good square ball out into the open spaces. And that's what you have to do in soccer, keep the ball moving into open spaces. Passing is crucial especially in the middle third of the field where they are now. Mike Zott has it now, and now Downingtown will come out as I, Ian Chambers has it, guarded by Joe O'Donnell. Chambers with a good ball down the left-hand side. It's Jamie Wagner with one man to beat. It's Seipel. Wagner trying to keep it in bounds. He does. Now he gets past Seipel, and Wagner now has got a chance. He's going to lift it too far over the head of Cafferkey. Jay Cafferkey, nice move by Wagner down along the end line. And then his little chip shot went a little too high over the head of Cafferkey. Cafferkey was on far post and he might have been able to head it in. The Stanningtown team 
lost just about everyone from last year's state champions. He showed a lot of character coming back again with an all new lineup practically. Ball controlled by Fox Chapel in the middle third. Right around midfield. Now it's Larkin for the Whippets as he gets control and tries to turn it up the sideline. Cafferkey now has it. He's going to look to swing it. Now he's going to hit it down to the corner. And back to the keeper, Sinkrich. Goal keeping was supposed to be a weakness for this Fox Chapel team, according to the scouting reports. Sinkrich and Jeff Thor, the other goalkeeper, supposed to alternate today, but Sinkrich has gone the entire way. And except for that one time when he lost the ball in the sun, he's been okay. And this was the end where he lost the ball in the sun. As the sun now starting to get low in the sky. And a ball to the goalkeeper's right from the near side of the field could be lost in the sun. Keep that one in mind. The wind continues to blow the same as it has throughout steadily from left to right. Straub goes up for the header strong for the Whippets. Now the ball poked out and a, a good effort by Jasek. And now Seipel will kick it out of bounds. Two substitutions await the whistle for Fox Chapel. Jason Lennon and Elverson Brown. Brown with the goal today. Jamie Wagner putting pressure on Seipel and it goes back to Sinkrich. Sinkrich waiting. Now he'll throw it out. Disciple who's got a lot of room and time. And there you see Chambers coming into the picture and he plays a good piece of defense. And then puts a nice move on, a little left foot shot to get the ball out to Wagner. And now it's Perdiccas. And Sinkrich gets it. Number 15 back there in defense, Mike Zott. That was all set up by Chambers, Ian Chambers, with a nice little left foot to Wagner. And then Wagner puts it through to Perdiccas. Good chance there for the Whippets. They're going to need a goal if they want a chance at claiming the state championship again this year. They trail 1-0 in the fourth quarter. And now the Foxes have a chance, and it's a save by Todd Cease. Number 14 from the left side, Reed Smith with a shot on the ground, and Todd Cease gets it, and he'll punt it away. Straub tries to head it, and now it's O'Donnell. Nearly a dangerous play there by Derek Mooney. State final, triple A, and it is one nothing Fox Chapel. A lot of contact out there today. Ball lifted down and Jamie Wagner's there. Wagner trying to stay with it. He's gonna have a shot, it's over the goal mouth and Sinkrich was out there, he was out. Sinkrich was out of position. All Wagner had to do was just get it a little lower. Good effort by Jamie Wagner. But it goes over the goal mouth, and that's the third or fourth time today that the Whippets have had a chance and have overshot the goal. Close one there. Downingtown putting some pressure on in this fourth quarter. They realize it's now or never. Down one nothing in the fourth quarter of the state final. Caputo has it. He fights for it with Zimmerman, and it will be Downingtown's throw, and Caputo will have the honors. He comes down the sideline looking for Wagner, gets it to him. Seipel with a good piece of defense there, and he'll kick it out of bounds. And now will be Donnan. Donnan with a long throw. Seipel again will head it out of bounds, and Downingtown moving down the field off the head of Mike Seipel, Bill Seipel. Burdickus double teamed, and the ball stolen away by Joe O'Donnell. Burdickus applying pressure, and now it's Chip Zimmerman with time and space in the middle of the field. Zimmerman moving down, right down the middle. Now he pokes it to the corner. Mooney out there for the Whippets. Reed Smith on for the Foxes, and Reed Smith has it. He's going to chip it into the middle. Nobody there for the Foxes, and Ian Chambers gets it out. And now O'Donnell knocks it in. Jason O'Donnell in front for Todd Cease, and Cease grabs it. And Cease will punt it. It's a short kick. And... Bill Seipel comes in with his arm up on Burdickus, and it will be a throw for the Whippets. And there you see Jasek on the throw. Chambers with the left foot 
up in the air, and you see there Wilson trying to shade his eyes from the sun. So the sun playing a factor on those high balls for the whippets. Cafferkey looking. He's got Chambers square if he wants him. Now he's going to keep it himself, and he's going to turn up field. Cafferkey coming down the left side. Now he's going to put it in front. Busting hard at Straub and a little late. And Jake Straub and Jay Cafferty, the two co-captains, trying to work there and very nearly to perfection. Sinkrich came out of his goal, and Straub just a step too late. Caputo takes it out of the air with the right foot. Now the ball through nearly to Elverson Brown, who has a goal today, looking for another one. Number 16, Jason Lennon has it, and now he gets it outside. Shot by number 11, Terry Piper, and Chip Zimmerman goes flying over Todd Cease, who dives for the ball. Burdickus trying to get control. It will be a throw in for the Whippets, and we have a substitution coming in again for Fox Chapel. Number 9, Marco Patatucci waits. Dan and Donnan has plenty of time and space. He's going to chip one inside the 18. Wilson will head it back out. And now it's Jasek and Chambers will try to settle. And now it's Elverson Brown coming hard in a big collision with Chris Larkin. Out of bounds. And it will be a throw for Fox Chapel. Patatucci will check in. It's about 11 minutes left to play according to the official's clock. Patatucci will throw it in. And again, it goes out of bounds, and we'll have another restart for Fox, or for this time it will be for Downingtown as it goes off of Fox Chapel. And there you see the Downingtown sideline a little anxious now with about 10 minutes to play, and down by a goal. Patatucci over Cafferkey for the header. Chambers with the left foot over the head of Seipel, and Seipel will take it back to his keeper, Sinkrich. It's Reed Smith now on the far sideline. Back again to Sinkrich and Fox Chapel using that drop back to the keeper quite frequently here as they don't want to take any chances. Sinkrich will kick it away. Fox Chapel has the wind and Sinkrich really gets a boot into this one. Zimmerman gets the head and it rolls down out of bounds. Clock of course moving in soccer during these situations. The ball boy quickly gets a new ball in to the Downingtown side and There's a push by Donnan, and it will be a restart for Fox Chapel. So Fox Chapel, with less than 10 minutes now to go before they are the new state champions as they try to unseed Downingtown as the state champs. Downingtown coming in today at 23-1-1. Their only loss this season coming in overtime to penalty kicks to Strathaven, whom they defeated then for the district title 4-2, for the eastern title rather, 4-2. And you see the Downingtown cheerleaders trying to fire up the crowd and their team as they try to come back from a 1-0 deficit here in this fourth quarter, halfway through the fourth quarter. Out flat now. Patatucci will take it down the right-hand side off the pass from Jason O'Malley. Downingtown will have the throw. Fox Chapel is willing to just keep putting it in to the... Downingtown defensive end and let Downingtown try to take it out. Chew some time off of this clock. Downingtown's got to get something going here. They're going to run out of time. Reed Smith gets one out flat. Now Patatucci's got a shot. He's in front. Shot, no, off the outside part of the goal post. Off the goal post on the outside, Chip Zimmerman. Patatucci got a good through pass, took it to the side, turned it in, and Zimmerman hit the outside part of the goal post, and it bounced away. That would have sealed it up for Fox Chapel, but it's still 1-0.
Downing Town on the throw, and now they move upfield, trying to get into position. They trail one to nothing. Wilson has it. Out square. And now down the left side. Larkin. And Mooney, and now Brown has a chance, and Caputo clears it right into the face of Brown, and now it finally does get out of the defensive zone for the Whippets. Town running out of time. And now they've got a chance. They've got a little space. Out square now to Jake Strom. Strom puts it through to Cafferkey. Cafferkey turns it back and loses his footing, and now Seipel will kick it off of his own player, Patitucci, out of bounds, and Downingtown will have a corner. Here's a big chance for the Whippets. Cafferkey took it, started towards the sideline, then tried to cut it back and lost his footing, and Seipel tried to clear it. Patitucci had slid, and Seipel cleared it right off of Patitucci. And now the Whippets on the corner kick. Coming in, it's knocked away, and Brown gets it. And it's knocked out, Larkin now lifts one inside, and there's a trip in the area. No call, I can't believe it. Cafferkey was tripped by Wilson, and there's no call. Right in the area. Holy cow. Well, Straub has it now. Straub takes it upfield. Looking for Cafferkey again. Cafferkey gets it up for Wagner. Wagner tries to turn it in Seipel with good defense. Bill Seipel playing good defense at that right fullback position. Donnan with plenty of time. He's going to look. Hit it to the far corner. Header out for Fox Chapel. Straub tries to get it square. Mooney hits it down to the corner. Straub busting on it. Taken away by Fox Chapel. Nice move by Brad Wilson, the sweeper back, and now he can bring it out, and he's got time and space. Five minutes left to play in the ball game. The Whippets trail by a goal. Downingtown brings it out now. It's Jasek as he brings it across midfield. Looking. Hits one on the ground, and it's knocked away, and now Fox Chapel has it. Brown gets it for Zimmerman, and he's got one man to beat, and he'll slip and fall, and Caputo goes over him. And out of bounds goes the ball. What? You suck. <laughs> Less than five minutes to play here in this game. Fox Chapel leads by a goal, one to nothing. Downingtown just had a great chance. And maybe there should have been a call. As Cafferkey was tripped in the area, but no call. Todd Cease will set the ball up for Caputo to take the six. Why don't we take a quick break and come back? It's one nothing Fox Chapel. We'll be right back. For energy efficiency, low maintenance, and a lifetime glass breakage warranty, Floridian replacement windows from BJ Exteriors in Downingtown have no competition. These beautiful Floridian replacement windows defeat rising energy bills, corrosion, and peeling. And if you break the glass, BJ Exteriors will replace it, no matter what the reason. Floridian replacement windows also come with a 10-year warranty on labor, making them the winning windows for every home. BJ Exteriors also specialize in vinyl siding, vinyl trim, roofing, gutters, downspouts, and storm windows. BJ Exteriors offers exterior remodeling you can trust with free estimates. Showroom hours are Monday through Friday from 9 to 5, Saturdays from 9 till noon. Stop into BJ Exteriors, 21 East Lancaster Avenue in Downingtown or call 269-1119. That's 269-1119 for BJ Exteriors in Downingtown. Chester County Travel, with two convenient locations to serve you, is your full-service travel agency in Chester County. From corporate travel to airline tickets to first-class cruises, Chester County Travel can handle every detail, assuring you smooth sailing. And now, Chester County Travel offers World on Wheels, a mobile video travel library for the busy family. Thousands of videotapes are available for in-home consultations. Just call either Chester County Travel Office for an appointment or more information. Chester County Travel in the Colonial 100 Shopping Center in Exton or 301 East Lincoln Highway in Coatesville. Call 363-2060 or 383-6110 for Chester County Travel. Chester County Collision at 10 Stewart Avenue in Downingtown can handle every facet of collision repair. From minor fender benders to frame straightening, you are assured complete satisfaction when you let Chester County Collision repair your vehicle. And all insurance claims are handled quickly and fairly. 
For the best in collision repair at a fair price, please consider Chester County Collision, 10 Stewart Avenue in Downingtown. Call 269-3752 for Chester County Collision. Back here at Chippensburg. It is 1-0, Fox Chapel on top. And Downingtown will have the restart, and it gets into Todd Cease, and Cease will boot it out of there. Downingtown running out of time. They need a goal. They've had some chances. And they're going to need at least one more, and they're going to have to cash in on it. Downingtown crowd is fired up, and there's a trip. And Wagner will be tripped, and Donnan will try to chip one into the 18. And now he's going to roll it ahead for Jasek, who has time. Jasek evades one man. There's another. He pokes it through, and Wagner can't get to it. It will be kicked out of bounds by Mike Zott. Brian Jasek went right through the Fox Ch Chapel defense. And Wagner just a, a step too far, or else he would have had a shot. And that one's headed out of bounds. A Downingtown will have another throw. It's Caputo. Caputo gets ready. Only about two or three minutes to play. Long throw. Straub on the header. It's in front. It's headed out by Fox Chapel. And again, it kicked out of bounds. And Mike Caputo will have another long throw. Caputo giving it everything he's got, as are all these whippets. And again, out of bounds. And again, Downingtown will have another throw in. Running out of time. Caputo. It's skipped in. It's in the area. Trying to get a foot on it. It's Donnan. Donnan still trying to get inside. Takes it to the corner. He's got a drop. It's Jasek. Now Jasek is going to look to swing it. It's on the ground. Wagner. And now Chambers will have a shot. It's going to go over the goal mouth. Ian Chambers had a chance. Shoots it over the goal mouth. Running out of time. Substitutions coming into the ball game for Fox Chapel. He was here, they were here. Goal kick. And what do we have here? Clock is stopped. Relax. Yeah, you relax. Have some confusion going on here. Substitutions for Fox Chapel. A little confusion. There's one minute left to play in this ball game, and Downingtown's down to their last 60 seconds, and Fox Chapel will get a restart. Less than a minute to play. And Downingtown looks like they will not be able to repeat as state champs. So Downingtown tied it, scoreless tie at halftime. Two and a half minutes into that third quarter, Elverson Brown gets a goal for Fox Chapel. And that's been all the scoring today. And with less than a minute to play, it looks as if Fox Chapel from Pittsburgh will be the new state champions for AAA soccer. And Downingtown will have to wait until next year. And there are a lot of juniors and sophomores on this team. They lose their two co-captains, Caffrey and Straw, but this Downingtown has an excellent soccer program and they'll be back next year. The last 10 seconds of the ball game. The Foxes of Fox Chapel are the new AAA state soccer champions. <laughs> as Fox Chapel runs out onto the field to celebrate their state title. The students on the far sideline come out onto the field to celebrate along with them. Elverson Brown gets a goal, two minutes and 30 seconds. Into that third quarter, Downingtown not able to score. They had some chances, perhaps there should have been a penalty call when Caffrey was tripped in the area in the fourth quarter with about seven or eight minutes to play. 
but they also had chances and were not able to convert. You can't blame the officials. Fox Chapel, an excellent team. Downingtown, an excellent team, and it was a pretty great game. One to nothing, the final score. Fox Chapel defeats Downingtown. Well, why don't we take a break and we'll come back for a final word from Shippensburg. Again, the final score, one nothing. We'll be right back. Thinking about a car phone, commercial two-way radio, or car stereo, but not sure what you need or can afford? Scott Weaver of Weaver Mobiles is ready to help. At Weaver Mobiles, you deal strictly with Scott, the owner, who works to make you the most satisfied customer around. Weaver Mobiles is a leading distributor of Metrophone car phones. Metro